We're at the entrance to Navy Hill. Navy Hill was featured in episode number three of Busan Geographic. This is the Igi Day Beltway. This way leads into Yongho-dong. Very nearby, there is a bus stop for Yongho-dong Village Bus number two. So you can ride that bus there. We'll be heading this way down the Iggy Day Beltway for a while. Left is Zhangjiasan, Mount Firstborn. The fencing for Navy Hill is quite cute. This section of the path used to be nicer for hiking, but they put up this fence, so the view is not quite as good. You actually have to pause to appreciate it because you cannot see it while you're walking. The fence obscures it. It is, however, much safer. This very low retaining wall was maybe not the safest thing for pedestrians to be walking next to. The road forks here. This side road leads up to part of the military base and to the forest path going up Zhangjiasan, Mount Firstborn. We're going to continue along the beltway. We've now reached an area where the high fencing from Navy Hill is gone. All we have is this low crenellated retaining wall. So watch your step. You're pretty likely to break something if you fall down there. But it sure looks nice. This side path We'll take you down to the Igi Day Coastal Walk, roughly around the area of Nongbawi. If you do not have a hiking stick or a hiking pole, do not attempt going down to the Coastal Walk this way. The two-track does go for quite some ways, so it might link up with a safer stairway down through the woods. But when I have gone down it, the paths that I chose and the many branches and forks trying to get directly to the coastal trail were unsafe without a hiking stick. Let's take a small diversion onto this path.
there are benches out here. Ah, the path continues. Let's follow it a little further. Now at this point, there's a fork going down. I do not intend to go down, but I want to show you, hopefully, how steep it is. Although that kind of perspective can be very difficult on a 2D screen. You should be able to see that this goes down at about a 45 degree angle. So walking down it without a hiking stick is really unsafe. We will stick to the left so we can continue to parallel the beltway. I'm pretty sure this trail will just come right back out on the beltway. Yes, this footpath has taken us right back to the beltway. We're coming out at one of the roadside parking areas. This is one of two fairly large roadside parking areas. There's one on either side of the large rest area. The large rest area is a desirable place to stop if you are traveling in Egi Day. If we had been in a hurry to get to the large rest area, I would have taken the side road up to the military base to cut across. We're actually in a kind of horseshoe shaped section. And so taking the beltway is much longer than the forest path slightly up the mountain. But you can see that in episode four of Busan Geographic. That footpath that we were on actually does continue into the woods here. That footpath in the woods actually continues parallel to the beltway. So if you feel like walking in the woods instead of on the sidewalk, that is certainly an option. At this point, you can simply step over the crenellated wall to go between the two paths. We have arrived at the large rest area. The beverage machine should come as a welcome relief to some weary travelers. Here's an overview map of the entire park. We are here. This blue path is the Igi Day Beltway. The orange path is the Igi Day Coastal Walk. Here we have the islands called Oriukdo, the Oriukdo Quay, and also home of the ocean women, Henya Ujib, the Oriukdo Skywalk, Heimaji Gongwan, or Sunrise Park, the entrance to the Igi Day Coastal Walk. Right here is the back entrance to Oriukdo SK View. The blue line is the Beltway. Navy Hill is right about here. We followed the beltway around this way. We are here. We will continue along the beltway. 
to the information center. The green line shows the path across Zhangjiasan, Mount Firstborn, which is featured in episode number four of Busan Geographic. Down this way is a lovely side trip, which we should take sometime for a future episode of Busan Geographic. Uh, there's a fabulous cemetery down this way. You just have to follow this trail. It's not terribly far. But we will be continuing along the Beltway for this episode. The restrooms are down this way. There they are, men's and women's. You have to go down some steps to get there. Here's the signage for Karmet Gil. The Aul Madang is 1.8 kilometers. The coastal trail is 0.5 kilometers. Oryukdo Sunrise Park is 1.7 kilometers the other way. And of course, if you're trying to specifically follow Karmet Gil, then you want to head down this way to follow the coastal trail. Sometimes Korean people's understanding of English gets a little bit awkward. Here the Korean word is Hwajang Shil, and the English word you can see is toilet, which is kind of strange, uh, because toilet, if you translate into Korean, is actually byeonggi. Uh, for Hwajang Shio, at least for a public Hwajang Shio, we want to use restroom, maybe washroom for Canadians, or lavatory, uh, speaking British English. Um, and of course, if you're in a home, we often refer to it as the bathroom. Uh, but it's quite ubiquitous in Korea to see Hwajang Shio translated as toilet. And that will be the general Korean understanding of how to say Hwajang Shil in English as toilet rather than as restroom or uh, lavatory, washroom, or even bathroom. So the Korean word for toilet is actually byeonggi. Right now we're looking at one of the loveliest and least safe views along the beltway. You may wonder why it's not so safe. Well, huh, there's the sidewalk. There's the wall, there's the crenellation. Here's my hand at a comfortable level. I actually have to stoop about two inches to put my hand down here. If you are here, be careful, don't fall over the wall. We've come to the second of the roadside parking areas. They're quite convenient. Uh, they're an easy walk to the big rest area. So uh, if you're driving in from here, just find one of these two large parking areas and park. They're really nice. Here's another guide. Uh, we've come about 300 meters since the last sign. The Aul Madang is now supposedly 1.5 kilometers away. The coastal trail is a mere 0 0.3 kilometers away. The large rest area is 300 meters behind us. This path will take you directly down to the Coastal Trail. If you would like to see a video of the Coastal Trail, just go to Busan Geographic episode number one for a long extended tour of the entire Coastal Trail. If you're from the United States, you might worry about what could happen if you were in a major accident for example you fell over uh, this low crenellated wall onto the ground below and broke your leg and had to spend a week or two in hospital well one thing to keep in mind is that the people of the united states have been conditioned to believe that medical care is inherently ludicrously expensive which is just absurd yes it can be expensive 
but you shouldn't have to give up your house, go bankrupt, or sacrifice everything that you've ever worked your entire life uh, to get just to pay your medical bills. That's actually a consequence of a gangster-driven medical billing system where organized crime is allowed to control the entire system. There's a reason that the people of the United States are conditioned to believe that socialized medicine is somehow a bad thing. All of the developed countries have socialized medicine except the United States. The socialized medicine in Korea turns out to be really incredibly good. No, you do not get free health care. We are all covered under the national health care system provided we're paying for it, but it's reasonably priced. It isn't the cost of a mortgage for health insurance the way it is in the United States. And this is because the government is protecting people from predatory price gouging schemes. The kind of price gouging that goes on with medical billing in the United States, where the medical billers use rectally obtained figures, and only those who are paying for expensive private insurance get any kind of protection, is unthinkable here in the Republic of Korea. That's just nonsense. The government protects everyone here, so even if you don't have the national health insurance, no one is going to overcharge you for medical coverage. They're not going to try to bankrupt you or gouge you or ruin your life over it. So if you spend a couple weeks in the hospital, it might cost you a few thousand dollars out of pocket. But it's not going to be some ridiculous rectally obtained figure that the medical billing gangsters in the United States might come up with for it. There's a deck overlooking the ocean called the Observatory, 300 meters away. The large rest area is 600 meters behind us. There's a trail going down which goes to the Chima rock face or the rock skirt. Chima means skirt, Bowie means rock. Chima Bowie means skirt rock. This trail leads down to the Skirt Rock, or Chima Bawi, which is part of the Igi Day Coastal Walk. The Aul Madang, the gathering place, is only one kilometer away. Chima Bawi is again 0 0.3 kilometers or 300 meters. Uh, and the big rest area, I see it's called the Big Hill Resting Place. I've been calling it the Large Rest Area. Anyway, there's an interesting little side trip here. I have never been down here. We have arrived at a watering hole. There's a dipper here. Fresh water is coming out. Nice and cold. This is bacterial information. Usually these say drink at your own risk. They give you a bacteria count for how much it has been tested for. So drink at your own risk. I have no general issue with it, although I'm not going to use the dipper because someone else might have used it. And in our current hygienic state, we kind of worry about those things.
There are some benches here. These benches look like they have been here for a long time. There's a path continuing what I guess is parallel to the beltway. This path probably goes down, but I'm just going to head back up. The footpath continues to run parallel to the beltway. The footpath, once again, links up with the beltway. There are some benches here, and we are approaching the observation deck. Chima Rock Face is only 400 meters down this way. The gathering place is 900 meters away. The Big Hill Rest Area is 900 meters behind us. This walkway will take you down to the Chima Rock Face. It's well worth the trip. If you'd like to see the Chima Rock Face, you can find it in Busan Geographic episode number one, Igi Day. Here's another path going down. But we're most interested in the observation deck. We've lucked out to be alone on the observation deck. There's benches for resting, some binoculars. Here's an overview map to help you understand what you're seeing. Guangan Bridge. Guangan Bridge, another of Busan's major landmarks, commands fine views of the seemingly close Oryukdo Island, Guanganli Beach, and Dongbaeksom Island, among others. Constructed using exclusively Korean technology, it is both the country's first two-tier bridge and the country's first and longest suspension bridge. It also boasts Korea's first high-tech lighting system with architectural beauty. If you want to see some crazy high-tech lighting, you need to go to Guangan Beach at night and look at what they do with the Guangan Bridge. Nurimaru Apex House. The Nurimaru Apex House was built in Busan to host the 2005 Apex Summit involving leaders from 21 nations. The assembled heads of state Clad in traditional Korean costumes, announced the summit declaration there, transforming the building into one of Busan's representative landmarks. The house is shaped like a traditional Korean pavilion and is equipped with such modern architectural elements as a domed roof made of galvanized steel plates, an observatory, a domed ceiling, and high-tech security facilities. There's a tiny mountain beyond the bridge in the center of the view right now. That mountain is called Beksan, Mount White. There is a fantastic temple and a gigantic Buddha statue up on Mount White. The bridge is the Guangan Bridge, also known as the Diamond Bridge. Bridge in Korean is Daegyo. This is the Guangan Daegyo or Diamond Daegyo. The tall mountain in the background is Jangsan or Mount Jang. Jong does not really translate, so I won't be giving it any English nickname. These giant skyscrapers in the view are called Marine City. You'll find a marina there. There are lots of yachts, and the skyscrapers are extremely tall. The tiny round island right in the middle here in Korean, it's called Dongbaek Sum. Dongbaek is Camellia. Sum is a word for island. So this is Camellia Island. 
Uh, the sliver of gray you can see at the front of the island is the round APEC building. Camellia Island will make a fantastic future episode of Busan Geographic. This is a wadi. A wadi is a natural drainage area for water off the mountain. This wadi has been reinforced with heavy stones to protect against further erosion. This is a water station in case of forest fires or in the Korean idiom mountain fire because the trees are on the mountains and if the trees are on fire, the mountain is on fire. There are some older benches for relaxation here. This could be a great place for a picnic. I strongly caution you when walking in Korea to look both ways when crossing the street twice. The most dangerous thing you can do in Korea is go for a walk. Driving has dramatically improved in the 15 years since I arrived here, but it still needs more improvement. We've reached the point of closest convergence of the coastal walkway with the beltway. Coastal walkway is maybe only 100 meters down these staircases. Down there is the Aul Madang, the gathering place. A full view of the Aul Madang can be found in Busan Geographic number one, Igi Day. Baruge Salja. This is the beltway entrance to the Aul Madang. The coastal walk is 150 meters down the hill. The big hill rest area is 1.5 kilometers behind us. Oryukdo Islands are three kilometers behind us. Here are your public restrooms. There are two roads going down here. This road leads directly into the Aul Madang, the gathering place. However, it is a really difficult road full of big ruts and potholes. This one is much nicer, and it comes out just a very short distance from the Aul Madang. So I recommend going down this way, especially if you're rolling anything like a stroller. There's also vending here. Here's a full map of Namgu. The blue trail is the beltway. We are here, almost finished. We're just going right to the middle. There's a watering hole up here. There's someone there. I don't want to invade that person's privacy. It looks like someone is testing the water. This side road leads up to a lovely parking lot, which would be fantastic except that around the same time that the city removed the parking area at Big Hill Rest Area, they also installed these posts to prevent people from using the parking lot. I don't understand why they made it more difficult for people to enjoy the park, but they did. Reinforced wadi are an essential part of the water management system. This side road leads up to a Buddhist temple called Baekgyeonsa, White Lotus Temple. White Lotus Temple was explored in episode number one of Busan Geographic, Igi Day. It is at the end of that episode. We have now arrived at the Igi Day main office and pay parking lot. The main office and pay parking are behind me. Going straight will lead me out to the road to Yonghodong, but there's this cute little side path 
that I have skipped every time I have been out this way. So I'm just going to take it and I think I know where it comes out. Well, my path forks. I can go a little way uphill this way or downhill this way. I don't have much battery left, so I'm gonna go downhill. I came prepared. There are some future videos I want to film where I'm going to need to get a harness for my gimbal because in some areas that I have previously hiked, I absolutely need two hiking sticks in order to go downhill. So hopefully I can get some sponsorship in order to purchase the equipment that I need to do some more advanced videos than the ones I have already done. This path has led to exactly where I thought it was going to lead. This staircase was featured at the end of episode number one of Busan Geographic, Gigi Day. <laughs> <laughs>